like a mood fragrance. So it like changes or something. I haven't really, I've only been half paying attention to it because it's also called Orabella, which I think is like. Orabella? I don't think it's a great name. I'm doing Orabella to my peonies. <laughs> um, you should be able to smell different when you get angry. Peonies smell nice. Yeah, I hope so. It has been raining a lot lately. It's very delicate. I like peonies a lot. As a pause, uh, <laughs> but they're they're so expensive to buy. Like at the, at the flower yeah, shop. Yeah, they jack them up. And let me tell you about flower shops real quick near my house, which I shan't tell you where it is. Uh, but near my house, there's a couple flower shops. Not really near my house, but in the Proper general vicinity. Flower shops? Well, one would hope. Listeners will know that I was a florist for many years. Yes. I was not a good florist. In fact, I would say I was probably one of the worst florists in human history. If this was a king's court situation, my ass would be beheaded if he struck a foul mood. But I go to the flower shop. It's near Atlantic Terminal. All right? That's not that close to my house, but it's, it's, it's near enough to where I won't give it away. And I look in there at this flower shop. And I'm like, first of all, these women are listening to ASMR. And I'm not, like, saying that as a shorthand for music I don't like. They were literally listening to straight up an ASMR video through the speakers of the fucking store. You can't do that. Like the ch-ch-ch. And I thought I was fucking like, oh, they're listening to, like, massage ass music. But no. Then a woman began talking softly in, like, a yeah, you can't do type that. of way. And I was like, oh, there's some peonies here. How much for the peony? How much for a stem? A single stem of penis. And it was something, it was like $14 or something. And I'm like, what are you talking about, lady? For a peony? I know how much you get that shit for. It's not that much. Yeah. Then I go to the other flower shop. I'm saying, I'm going to get a, because I want to, I got a, I got a vase and I'm like, up, I want, I got a cool East German vase. I'm not saying that because, oh, it's communist stuff. It, it, Germany has a lot of cool ceramics sure, from back in the day. And oh, I got yeah. one. And uh, I was like, I'm going to put some flowers in this. I go to the other flower shop. They're open two days a week. Hmm. But then I looked in and I saw this is too expensive for me. Flowers, hmm. I understand that the safe ways of the world, the pl- supermarket flowers, make everyone think flowers should be cheaper. But there's such a thing as too much money. Yeah. Anyways, that's, that's what I got to say. Let's, let's cut this off. I think, you know, a supermarket tulip can do a lot, can, can pull, mm. you know, its weight in the apartment. Tulips are, tulips are the go-to flower. Yeah, I always, I love when they get floppy. What's your least favorite flower? <gasps> Ooh. Oh, my God. I'm going to hit you with, I'm going to hit you with maybe something a little crazy right now. Shit. Wait, this one's hard. Let me think. I don't like carnations. I really don't. Well, that's classic. You know, I do kind of like carnations um, just because they're, like, I think they can be, I think used judiciously, they can be quite lovely um, and not just in like a campy way. But I really don't like foxgloves. I don't love in general like a long extendo. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, because they also like, like, they flop in the vase too much. The kind of like classic. Yeah. I love a British garden, but like the the long, the long, you know, whether it's like, I don't love a Dianthus. Um, I'm trying to think. I don't know. I love. I do. I love so many flowers, so it's hard for me to get mad at any of them. When I when I worked at the flower shop, I often would spend days. This is before you look at. Well, I didn't. I had a flip phone for I think a significantly longer amount of time than most people, so like I couldn't look at the internet or whatever. I'd read books, mm-hmm. but eventually you you it gets too dark, or you're just like I can't read anymore because we weren't very busy. And I, I would always sing this song to myself, and I'll sing it for you now. Okay. Come with me now to Carnation Island, that little island in the middle of the street. Come with me now to Carnation Island, that little island in the middle of 19th, because it was on 19th Avenue. Wait a second. I feel like you've sung this song yeah, before. That's Cafe Lorenzo's oh, yeah. song. Yeah. Yeah, Cafe Lorenzo. Oh, yeah. I'd probably reuse the, the thit for Cafe Lorenzo. But that's originally it's Carnation Island. I, I I I came up with that while urinating in the bathroom of a Chinese insurance office when I was 19 years old, and I would always smell bad because of the bad water from the flowers that we would have to throw out because I would get it all over me. Anyways, but that's that's I What's recorded that. What's your favorite that. flower? My favorite flower is the girl is making this. Hmm. Well, I recently saw some crit. I went to the fucking, I went to the, the, the flower shit in the park with my aunt recently. What's it called? The Botanical Garden. And I saw some pretty 
crazy tulips that I had mm. never seen oh, before. Oh, yeah. And yeah. I was like, some I really like tulips, those. Some nice, Just lovely. some crazy ass looking tulips. Yeah. Uh, I the like working. The fringy ones are really cool. Uh, my favorite flowers to work with, this is going to sound funny. It's not my favorite flowers to look at by any means. My favorite flowers to make a bouquet with, usually in place of uh, baby's breath, because I really don't like baby's breath, yeah. is, uh, is status. I really like using status to oh, work with. Oh, interesting. Um, I would say my favorite flower to look at in my house might be the peony. Might be, might be the peony. It might be the, the fucking classic cow lily. Oh, lovely. I love elegant. cow lilies. Elegant. I love cow lilies. That's a nice choice. I uh, love the dark ones. And in fact, that's, a, that's, another, that's what I was originally looking for at that flower shop, but they only had the only recognizable, like, they have also something like dried flowers. Yeah, that's Fuck a racket. That's a Flower, racket. I, 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 I do have dried hydrangeas in my house, though, because they keep I also them. love hydrangeas. Yeah, those are great. I love hydrangeas. Big, and when I was a tweaker bowls. and trying to make my own flower business, I would go and steal hydrangeas from Russian Hill from people's gardens and sell those. And it worked. I made money off of that. That's great. Mm-hmm. I love that. I would, I would put them in big bags. <laughs> that's so fucking funny. <laughs> I would be walking down the street with, like, two giant bags of hydrangeas that I had stolen from different people's gardens that I would have then sell when my boss wasn't there at the flower shop that I worked at at North Beach, which is still there, Patricia's Flowers. That's crazy. All right. <laughs> Let's cut this.